We're here at the Barrel Room and we just saw the screening of Illusion. Here to talk to us is writer, director and star Michael Gorgian. So Michael, can you tell us a little bit about the movie? What's the story about? It's uh, called Illusion. It's uh, actually originally based on a, a 17th century play by Pierre Cornet. It is about a father who's trying to find a son. Um, uh, he's an older man who's uh, kind of on his deathbed and had an illegitimate son that he never knew. And it's about how he sort of magically gets reconnected with his son. The father's played by Kirk Douglas, who um, in kind of a dream is taken to a magical movie theater where uh, it's explained to him that everyone's life is like a film and there are records of uh, everything that's ever happened to anyone. He's shown his son's life in a series of um, visions, so to speak. They project a segment of his son's life when he's a teenager, and then again when he's a little older and a little older. So a lot of the movie actually takes place in a movie theater, uh, watching films with Kirk. Have you ever heard of something called the Akashic Records? Akashic Records? No. When people live their lives, it's recorded. Now, most of it never quite makes it into the can, so to speak. But the deeper things, the significant things, burn an impression. And it becomes an actual record. What does it look like? Like a film negative. I can't believe it. Just like a movie. And just like a movie, some are flops, some are funny, some are sad, some are romantic. Hey, Vlad, are you ready with the first one? Uh, the first what? The first reel. I pulled a couple for you. The ones that I thought that you'd most want to see. The ones I wanted to see. Shh. It's starting. How did you come up with the idea for this project? I was living in L.A. working as an actor, and I wanted to do something... Um, where I could creatively do what I wanted to do and not have to worry about a lot of the business things that uh, you have to worry about when you make a movie. Uh, so I found this play and basically the structure of it is thus that you have these three sort of individual stories within a story and I thought well if I shoot one piece mm -hmm. and use that to raise money to do the next one and then use that to raise money to the next one. And then once I have all three, and I can do these separately because they're really capsulated pieces. And then I used what I shot to then approach Kirk and said, well, you know, here's 75% of the film already done. Um, he saw what I shot, read the script, and uh, decided to do it. He immediately so, said yes? Yeah, pretty much. You want to go ahead and set up for the big why? You know, he's at heart, he's an actor. And this was an opportunity for him to act again. And it wasn't a sentimentalized piece that was just using him as an icon and, and just playing on that. This is a real acting role where he really got to, you know, do what he spent his life doing. Don't listen, don't listen to him, Chris. Go to the station, his culture. Don't listen to him, Chris. Go to the station. Isabel is there. Sam, Sam, Sam. No, 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 no. It can't be this. Sam, help me, help me. Was Kirk the original actor you saw playing Donald Baines? No, it sort of uh, came out of left field, the idea that, you know, maybe Kirk would want to, it really fits who he is. And uh, so when we did approach him, he read it, and right away he said he wanted to do it. Thanks a lot for this interview, Michael, and uh, good luck with the movie. Thank you very much. Thank you.